I'm Richie Rojas, and this is the New Balance 666 Clinton autographed sneaker. I bought this sneaker on eBay. The seller wanted like $300. I, I talked her down to 200 bucks. It was autographed by Hillary and Bill Clinton back in 92 at a Susan G. Komen fundraiser. And this was just a few months before Bill Clinton was elected president. So uh, pretty cool and unique. New Balance used to name their shoes by numbers and it was like the higher the number was kind of like the next level of support or stability or technology. I think it's weird that New Balance named a model 666. I don't know, I think it's pretty funny and pretty awesome, but there's certain numbers you just avoid, you know, 69, 13 maybe, I don't know. <laughs> you know, her and Bill signed it. They gave the mark of the devil the mark of their approval, I guess. So the shoe itself, there's a ton of padding in here. It's very fragile. It's only one shoe. The soles is dry rotted and crumbling. I'm pretty worried about these autographs actually because it looks like they're done in Sharpie and the, you could see bits of them are already falling off. But here's um, Bill Clinton right here. And on the other side is Hillary Rodham Clinton. This New Balance shoe came out in the era where like the fitness craze was taking over the industry. So every brand had kind of like these all white or all black leather aerobics uh, cross training shoes. So here's uh, one of New Balance's takes on that. And it's pretty plain, just all leather, some perforated holes here, a lot of double stitching. The flashiest thing really is the, uh, the silver logo on the back and the, the silver NB666 on the tongue. Even the, uh, the main logo is pretty minimal here. I'd say a lot of the shoes from this Air from New Balance are pretty much as deteriorated as this one is. Um, I have some from that era that are, have held up pretty well, but it's, it's pretty normal for a shoe to be this old and in this condition. That's any brand, like Nike, Adidas, whatever. Even bits of the sole are kind of coming off my fingers even just holding it. Part of me thinks they should belong to New Balance Archive because I feel like they might take better care of the shoe than me. Like the autographs are on the sole and the soles are kind of crumbling right now. So I'm trying to figure out a way to preserve them. I think they would be pretty cool in New Balance's archive up in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm.